Easter Saturday. Place of waiting, place of hope. Easter Saturday is suspended between two worlds, that of the darkness and death of Good Friday and that of the resurrection and restoration of the light of Christ on Easter Sunday. For many years this day meant nothing to me. It was a blank day between the high dramas of Good Friday and Easter, the day when nothing happened. Since being in ministry, the day has mostly been a day that gives me a brief but welcome breathing space between services. A day of waiting, and as I have been reflecting, it seems to me that for most of the time, Christians live in days like Easter Saturday. That, between, that time between the days of drama we have in life. There are far more days of waiting, days when time simply passes. In the words of a Jesuit, James Martin, we are called to the waiting, called to the weight of the Christian, which is called hope. It is an act of waiting. It knows that even in the worst situations, even in the darkest of times, God is powerfully at work, even if we can't see it clearly right now. The disciples' fear after Good Friday was understandable, but we, who know how the story turned out, who know that Jesus will rise from the dead, who know that God is with us, who know that nothing will be impossible for God, are called to wait in faithful hope. To look carefully for signs of the new life that are always right around the corner. To look just like a few of the disciples were doing on that Holy Saturday. Because change is always possible. Renewal is always waiting and hope is never dead. These words seem very poignant for the time we find ourselves in. So may we be encouraged to always look for the new, to be prepared to change, to expect renewal and never lose hope. As we wait, think on those things. Let me finish today's devotion with some verses from a favourite psalm of mine, Psalm 62, reading verses 1 and 2 and then verses 5 to 8. For God alone, my soul waits in silence. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall never be shaken. For God alone, my soul waits in silence. For my hope is from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. On God rests my deliverance and my honour. My mighty rock, my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Amen.